I believe, and I've discovered, that the most painful part of being in an abusive relationship with a narcissistic person or people is the feeling that you do not bring any value into the toxic relationship dynamic. And I want to be careful with this. It's because it's not that you don't have value. You have value. I have value. We all have value. If you are breathing and you are alive, you best believe you have value and your value is intrinsic, which means it's effortless. You don't have to work for your value. It just is. It's in your smile. It's in your joy. It's in your peace. It's in your communication. It's in the way you love. It's in the way you kiss. It's in your knowledge. This is all your value that you provide in this life. But when you're dealing with narcissistic people, when you're in a toxic relationship, they either, number one, are blind to your value. They just don't see it. Or they reject your value, meaning they just don't want it. Either way, that's not your fault. And it's not your problem. It's theirs. Your responsibility in this is to be able to say, wow, I'm not providing any value in this relationship, obviously. So I am going to remove myself and go to where I will provide value. The mistake we all make is to think that you need to do something extra to bring value. You need to work harder to bring value into this dysfunctional, toxic relationship that you're in. Look, let me tell you something. Gold doesn't do anything to create value. Diamonds don't work hard to make value. A pearl doesn't do extra things to become valuable. They just are value by their intrinsic nature. But the truth is, is that gold belongs with those who value it. Diamonds belong only with those who value it, who polish it. Pearls belong with those who value them. Likewise, you, me, we belong in environments with people where we bring value. And you'll know you bring value because you're polished, you're taken care of, right? I've made it my goal in this life. It is my mission for the rest of my life to never be in any relationship or be in any place where I am not bringing value. And I want the same for you. And when I say bring value, I mean intrinsic value. Let's get deeper into this. My name is Kevin. This is The Royal We. Before I continue with this message on bringing value into relationships, I want to let you know that I'm here to support you. Down in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one appointments with me. I do take telephone calls as well as video calls through Zoom, FaceTime, and WhatsApp. So if you're looking for support, maybe you're in a relationship and you realize that you're not bringing any value into the relationship, you want help out, I'm here to help you get out of it. There's also a coaching program. My coaching program is live and in person each and every day. The Royal Week coaching program is not pre-recorded material. It's not written stuff that you have to read on your own time. It's me spending my time with you each and every day. So if you're looking for a community to join for daily support, consider joining the Royal Week coaching program. Now, what's interesting is that you and I, we've been conditioned and brought up to believe that we have to earn our value. And now, don't get me wrong, you do need to work, you need to provide, you do need to do these things, but this is not associated with your intrinsic value. Your intrinsic value, as I said earlier, is going to be found in what's effortless. That's what intrinsic is. It's what God has given you. If you are alive and breathing air, you have value, all right? It's in your touch, it's in your knowledge, it's in your wisdom, it's in the way you communicate, it's in your love. Your only responsibility is to accept your unique value because we're not all the same. You have different value than I do. Our responsibility is to navigate this world full of narcissistic users and abusers to find ourselves in those relationships where we are able to present our value. You're going to know that you are in a toxic relationship with narcissistically abusive people because you will not be allowed to bring your value or you will feel like your value, your intrinsic value, is simply just not good enough. 
And as a result, what we typically do, which is the wrong thing to do, is we start jumping through hoops of fire to make up for the absence of the value that we feel we are not bringing into the relationship. I'm going to share with you a story. When I was dealing with the narcissistic in-laws in Southern California, I caught on real fast that my intrinsic value it was absent. It didn't exist with these people. And it hurt. If I'm honest with you, it wasn't the name calling that really hurt. Listen, I, I, I can deal with name calling. You can too. You know, yes, it's mean. Yes, it's annoying. But at the end of the day, big deal. Listen, I, it, it, we have thick skin. I, I have thick skin. All you got to do is scroll on some of my YouTube videos and see some of the comments of bitter, nasty people going, Ooh, who, are the, who are you talking on this channel? I don't care. But the reason I don't care about their bitter, nasty, narcissistic comments on my channel is because I know that I'm bringing my value. I'm allowed to present my value to the majority of you who listen to the words and you value the way in which I communicate. What you're tapping into right now while you're watching me, those of you who enjoy listening to this channel and what I have to say, what you're doing is you're valuing. You see the value in the knowledge that I have. You see the value in the desire I have to help and support you. So this is what drives me forward. This is what keeps me here. This is why I continue to do what I do because I see that I'm bringing value. When you're in a relationship where you're not seeing that you're providing any value, in the past, what we would do is try to make up for that. And so like I said, I want to share the story with you. I'm going to get to it, I promise. I was in this environment with these in-laws and they were ignoring me. Part of the value that I bring is my communication. I love to communicate with people. They were ignoring me on purpose in addition to the name calling and all the slander and this and that and the gossiping and the smear campaign, which wasn't the most hurtful part. But I would go and visit these people and they would just flat out ignore me. They, they wouldn't even sit near me and they would do it on purpose and they would do things like jump up and go and run and talk to somebody else and throw their arms around them and hug and do it right in front of my face, kind of to say, hey, we love that you're here. Kevin, we don't care. We don't want to talk, right? So here's what I did as a result. Instead of doing the smart thing and saying, okay, I guess I'm, uh, my, I don't have value here. Apparently, I'm not bringing any value into your family system here. Instead of doing that and leaving, I started doing some really weird things that I probably shouldn't have. One of them, one particular night, I jumped up off the couch because I wasn't, in, in any conversations, nobody was talking to me, everybody was ignoring, whatever, doing their thing. I'm like, you know, I'm going to go wash the dishes. I was trying to fill the void, that absence of the value that I have. And I'm like, well, I got to do something to create some kind of sense that I'm worthy of being here. So I started washing their dang dishes, these people's dishes. While they're all laughing and talking, I'm in the kitchen scrubbing their dishes. And I remember being there. And even though I was washing their dishes, I still felt this void. I felt the absence. I knew that even washing their dishes, it, it didn't matter because they rejected my intrinsic value. There's, there's nothing. And by the way, when narcissistic people reject your intrinsic value, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. And, but many of you do the same thing. Yeah. You, know, you get up, you're washing their dishes, you do their laundry, you walk their dogs, you do all kinds of disgusting acts to try to fill in the void that exists because these people in your life aren't accepting your intrinsic value. They're not honoring your value. They don't even want you there. Now, don't get me wrong. They like the fact that you're washing their dishes. They like the fact that you're mowing their lawn, painting their walls, doing whatever disgusting your acts you're doing for them. They enjoy that. They get a kick out of it. But it does nothing to change the fact that they just don't see, are blind to your value, or reject your value. So we're not supposed to do that. And that's really what this message is about. Stop going and being around people, family or lovers or whomever, who rejects your intrinsic value. 
or is blind to your intrinsic value. Stop going there trying to fill in that void and that gap by doing other things. Well, let me work for it. Let me work. Let me wash your dishes. Let me do this for you. Let me do that for you. So you can, no, 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 don't do that. Once again, gold doesn't work for its value. It just has it. Diamonds don't do anything. They just have their value. When they're in the right place, their value is protected. So our responsibility in this life is, in fact, to navigate this life only going where we bring value. And this is why I opened up this video saying my mission, my goal is to only go places where I am bringing value and to stay out of places where I'm no longer bringing value or I don't bring value. I really appreciate what the Bible has to say about this. There's a scripture where it says, bring your peace into a home. Your peace, by the way, is your value. Your peace, your joy, your knowledge, your wisdom, bring that. And if that home receives you, then bless them. Bless them with your joy. Bless them with your laughter. Bless them with your communication. Be a blessing to them. And you will be a blessing to them because of your value. You're operating out of your intrinsic value. But watch what it says after that. If they do not receive you, meaning if they're doing anything, displaying the things that those in-laws were displaying to me, ignoring you on purpose, not wanting to talk with you, you find yourself washing the dishes, whatever, you're not, you know, you're not living out of your authenticity. You're striving and jumping through hoops of fire for these people. What's it say to do? Does anybody know? It says to leave that home to bring your peace back into you, which means bring your value, your intrinsic value, bring it back with you, your smile, your love, your joy, bring it back into you and leave that home. Not only does it say to leave, but it says what? Shake the dust off your feet. Don't even take the dust on the carpet of these narcissistic, toxic people. Don't even take that with you. Shake it off your feet. Because, and this is important, because if you don't realize it, you can leave feeling like it was your fault. You can leave feeling like you didn't do enough. You can leave feeling like you didn't do X, Y, and Z. And you didn't jump through the hoops of fire that these people want you to jump through. That's not what that scripture is about. It's saying, no, your value is intrinsic. It's been given to you by your creator. It's what you carry with you effortlessly. And if this is not received then you are not bringing any value into the situation. And it's okay. It's okay for each and every one of us to be able to say, hey, listen, I get it. I'm not bringing value into this family. I'm not bringing any value into this relationship. That's fine. So I will leave and I will take my value and I'll go elsewhere because I want to tell you something. I, I promise you this. There is somebody who will see your value, who won't reject it, who will polish it. There is a family who will want your, your value, who will desire your value, who will bring it in and who will polish it. There are people who are looking for you, your value, what you have. They want that. So this is why I said it is super important that you acknowledge when you're in a relationship dynamic and you are no longer feeling like you're bringing any value to that relationship, exit. Shake the dust off your feet. Simply say, I'm no longer providing value for you. That's fine. I'll go on. And you go on and you go to the places where your value is welcomed. I hope that this makes sense. This is a difficult one. And I realize the way in which I articulate your value. I Listen, I think the mistake we all make is thinking that, well, we are all value valuable and we should be have value wherever we go. But it doesn't work that way. You know, again, to some people, gold has no value. There's some places where diamonds have no value. There's some places where pearls have no value. We have to accept, you have to accept, I have to accept that there are people, places, and homes in this world where we will have no value. We have to be okay with that. It doesn't mean that we don't have value. It means that to them, they are blind to it. They don't want it or they reject it. That's all we need to focus on. You don't want the value. Okay, that's fine. I'll go to where I do have value. You see, I found my seat right here where I have value. And just to prove to you, when you're in a relationship or when you're somewhere where you're being valued, 
you're going to realize that it's not the name calling that bothers you. It's not the mean things that people say that bother you. Listen, we all have thick skin. I have thick skin. You can go through the, the history of my, my videos here and you can see some bitter narcissistic people out there. They leave weird comments on my channel. Why are you talking? Blah, blah, blah. Why are you holding a cigar? Why are you? They're, they're going to be bitter about whatever. That's fine. That's on them. I'm here to bring the value to those who want to receive the value that I have. And that's what keeps driving me forward. The fact that I know that I'm bringing value into the situation is enough. So it's important for you to navigate this world, making sure that you only go where you are bringing value. And if you're not, be okay with it. Step back, whether it's your family, whether it's a lover, step back, bring your peace with you, bring your value with you, shake the dust off your feet, move on to other places where your value will be received, will be honored, will be appreciated. I hope this makes sense to you. As I said before, I'm here to support you. Down in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. I do take telephone calls as well as video calls through Zoom, FaceTime, and WhatsApp. So if you're looking to get out of a relationship where you are not being valued, where you don't feel like you are offering value, spend some time with me. I'd love to help you out. Before I leave, if you're new to this channel, hit the like and the subscribe button, would you? And also check out one of these videos. These videos are recommended by the YouTube algorithm to help you in your unique situation. And I'll be back with more right here on The Royal We.